Frasokereti is the Avestan language term corresponding to Middle Persian Fras for the Zoroastrian doctrine of a final renovation of the universe, when evil will be destroyed, and everything else will be then in perfect unity with God the doctrinal premises are 1 good will eventually prevail over evil, 2 creation was initially perfectly good, but was subsequently corrupted by evil, 3 the world will ultimately be restored to the perfection it had at the time of creation, 4 the salvation for the individual depended on the sum of that person's thoughts, words and deeds, and there could be no intervention, whether compassionate or capricious, by any divine being to alter this, thus, each human bears the responsibility for the fate of his own soul, and simultaneously shares in the responsibility for the fate of the world. Etymology and meaning The name suggests, "...making wonderful, excellent." D. N. Mackenzie in A Concise Dictionary of Pahlavi gives the meaning as, "...the restoration at the end of time." Considering this meaning, the first part could indicate early, first, initial, related to fra prefix, cognate with pro in Greek and Latin. Then the overall meaning being making into initial state, hence restoration. Topic: <laughs> Eschatology. The eschatological ideas are only alluded to in the surviving texts of the Avesta, and are known of in detail only from the texts of Zoroastrian tradition, in particular in the ca. 9th century Bundahitian. The accompanying story, as it appears in the Bundahitian GBD 30.1 FF, runs as follows, at the end of the third time, the first being the age of creation, the second of mixture, and the third of separation, there will be a great battle between the forces of good the Yazatas, and those of evil the Devas, in which the good will triumph. On earth, the Sausiant will bring about a resurrection of the dead in the bodies they had before they died. This is followed by a last judgment through ordeal. The Yazatas Ariaman and Atar will melt the metal in the hills and mountains, and the molten metal will then flow across the earth like a river. All mankind—both the living and the resurrected dead—will be required to wade through that river, but for the righteous Ashaven, it will seem to be a river of warm milk, while the wicked will be burned. The river will then flow down to hell, where it will annihilate Angra Mainyu and the last vestiges of wickedness in the universe. The narrative continues with a projection of Ahura Mazda and the six Amesha Spenters solemnizing a final act of worship Yasna, and the preparation of Parahauma from White Haoma. The righteous will partake of the Parahauma, which will confer immortality upon them. Thereafter, humankind will become like the Amesha Spenters, living without food, without hunger or thirst, and without weapons or possibility of bodily injury. The material substance of the bodies will be so light as to cast no shadow. All humanity will speak a single language and belong to a single nation without borders. All will share a single purpose and goal, joining with the divine for a perpetual exaltation of God's glory. Although Frashikarati is a restoration of the time of creation, there is no return to the uniqueness of the primordial plant, animal, and human. While in the beginning there was one plant, one animal, and one human, the variety that had since issued would remain forever. Similarly, the host of divinities brought into existence by Mazda continue to have distinct existences, and there is no prophecy of their reabsorption into the Godhead. See also Apocatastasis Kali Yuga Millenarianism Tikkun Olam equals equals notes